Yo, what's going on everyone? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So it looks like some decisions are going to need to be made in Washington, D.C. The Washington Wizards. Bradley Bill had a fantastic year. Of course, he was an all-star, but now it looks like maybe he had too good of a year for the Washington Wizards. Now you may be saying, what do you mean he had too good of a year? Well, let me explain. Bradley Bill may be in the running to win an All-NBA award. If he does that, Bradley Bill would then be eligible for a super max contract, which means he will be getting paid nearly $194 million in just four seasons. The problem with that is currently they have John Wall, who was also on a super max deal. So if you have both players signing a super max deal, they will be making $80 million combined per season. And we've seen this whole experiment with Bradley Bill and John Wall so far this um, the last couple of seasons. It really hasn't worked. On top of that, John Wall and his injury issues, we don't know how long it's going to take him to get back 100% on the court. You would assume he will get a full year with Bradley Bill because if Bradley Bill gets the Supermax and he's eligible, the deal won't kick in until 2021. So you do have a full season with John Wall, who's his Supermax deal kicks in next season. You have a year where you pay him $44 million, and then the year after that, you'll pay him $44 million and Bradley Bill $40 million. That is a lot of money, especially, like I said, you've seen the backcourt. They've been rumored in trade discussions all season long. Are they going to trade away John Wall? Are they going to trade away Bradley Bill? And regardless of what they say, clearly they don't really like each other and they can't get things going on the court. So do you really want to invest $84 million per season on those two? And that's why I said maybe Bradley Bill had too good of a season. Because if he does qualify for that super max deal, the new general manager that comes in is going to have to make some decisions. Do you just sign him and then kind of worry about it later? Maybe this thing can not work or maybe we could trade him in the future. Or do you now consider trying to trade Bradley Bill or even John Wall right now? We know John Wall said he's okay if the Wizards decide to draft a point guard in the upcoming draft. But let's be real. Does he really want the team to draft a point guard, especially if he feels he's going to be the future of the team? And John Wall still believes that this is his team. So a lot of decisions definitely need to be made. I think the, the great season from Bradley Bill, it sounds good. It's good for a lot of fans. But from management side, I don't really think they want him to win an All-NBA award because if that's the case, it's a lot of money they're going to have to shell out to keep this thing going. You guys let me know, though, how you guys feel about it in the comment section below. Do you think that they will sign a Supermax deal for Bradley Bill? Do you think they'll try to trade him in the future somewhat like the Clippers did, Blake Griffin, how they signed him to that big deal, promised him he's going to have his jersey hung up in the Raptors and then traded him a few months later? You guys let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.